we're going to talk about is our guilty, guilty pleasures. pleasures. Oh, yeah. Oh, guilty yeah. pleasures. <laughs> oh, man. We're I mean, so... considering it's the 50 year Shades are of Grayer, it just came out in theaters, so. Mm-hmm, yep. Whatever the next part of that stupid t is. Shades of Grayer. 50 year Shades are of Grayer. I don't <laughs> know what it's called. Just add ER on the end of everything. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> It's it's betterer than the other er show. It's more er shades <laughs> or other gray. Where they get more sexier. Good <laughs> all right. So what was your uh, guilty pleasure? Uh, all right. So I've 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 hit this for too long in my life. Oh um, man. Wait wait. <laughs> but uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> But my guilty pleasure, I guess, like, I love shows. Like, I really love um, TV. That's not the guilty pleasure. Uh, but, like, there's one show in particular that I've always fallen in love with, and it was one that I used to watch with my mom and my sister all the time when I was when it was going on, and that was Gilmore Girls. Uh, yeah, I am a huge Gilmore Girls fan. I love the show. I love the new show that just came out with it. The new Netflix-based series, the yeah, the Netflix, seasons, yeah, the season seasons. ones, yeah. I I was a huge fan of that. I would love. I'm out I, I like based. Not I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you've seen the sh- newest one, I'm okay with either it continuing or kind of just leaving it where it's at because I think either way it's beautiful on its own accord. Um, it's just a great show. I there's there's a lot of humor that. I love about it. There's a lot it's of very wit. quick-witted. Yeah, it's super very quick-witted. They talk really fast. A lot of people hate that because it talks very fast. But I just, I love the show because of the characters. I love the show because of that community. Honestly, realistically, if I could like find that community like in real life, I would totally live there. Yep, that's too. who it would. I would be Luke. I would open my own diner and just be the happiest guy in the world living there. See, now, I think Greg actually, of all the four of us, is the only one who hasn't seen the Gilmore Girls all the way through, and the new season all the way through. I have not. Have you finally seen it all the way through? I watched it all the way through. Oh, really? I've seen Gilmore Gilmore Girls Girls to end. end. High five. Two, Do we just start so, like? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, you're unemployed. I'm unemployed. Who's <laughs> <laughs> been over this? Did you just start like? Oh, I'm the worst. <laughs> this might be a running theme. I'm <laughs> un- seriously, man. I'm un- right now. I'm just between jobs. I graduated college back in December, so I had a job up at school at when Central I graduated Michigan. at Central Michigan <laughs> University. <laughs> a Central Fire Michigan up. fighting Chippewas, fighting uh, teachers. The dragons. <laughs> the dragons. The bear cats. <laughs> Sorry. But, there. Uh, that's been all of our mascots. Sidebar. Central Michigan <laughs> used to be Central Michigan Teacher College. And then when they were Central Michigan Teacher College back in like the 20s or 30s, um, we were uh, the fighting it. teachers. This is a sidebar. We're not going anywhere. We're coming back to this. Back to Gilmore Girls Guilty Pleasures. But <laughs> I did watch all of, I did watch the whole, the all seasons of Gilmore Girls and I finished the show and um, I will say, if you do know this about the show, the ending of the new season of the the new four seasons is this is the ending they intended to put at the end of the original seven seasons. I won't say anything more than that, but that is the thing which I was I was like because I actually found that out after I had watched both of them all the way through, and I was like, mm-hmm. uh, which I which I kind of makes, makes a lot, a lot of, sense of sense because the yeah. original season seven ending was like. This is kind of poop. Dumb. Like yeah, it, it was, just all of a sudden it ended. just abruptly ends. It does just kind of fizzle out. Yeah. But it, like it does justice in a way that they wanted to. I think we will see the end of the show zooms out at them in Luke's diner, which is how the first, how the episode, first episode, episode ended. Ends. Yeah, and it was a great it was a great ending, but it was still like it really just didn't work. And it, and the thing is too is like a lot of things were unfinished. Like mm-hmm. a lot of stories, like well now we just get to like theorize how the rest of their lives is going right. to play out. And then when this new series came out, it was like it helped a little. Oh bit. yes, this helped yeah. a lot because it does. It felt comfortable. Mm-hmm. It felt it felt more relaxed. Which is interesting now that I think about that because Alani and I were talking about not too long ago. Um, we were talking about the movie Five Hundred Days of Summer. Mm-hmm. And about this yesterday. And spoiler alert: if you haven't seen Five Hundred Days of Summer, we're you about to spoil it for you. It. You should probably either pause. I haven't seen the ending. I gotta pause the video. Let me go outside. Pause. Crack's just gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the ending spoiled for you, then we're not gonna. We're, we'll let you know now. Or I'm gonna ruin the ending for you guys. I but, don't care. Um, at the end of Five Hundred Days of Summer, basically what happens is the main character gets over because Five Hundred Days of Summer, summer in the title refers to a woman that he dates for 
He like only hundred, no, not five hundred. He only but. dates her for about six months, but You're he's right, in yeah. love with her for, for five hundred days. days yeah. Which and that's basically the idea is by the end of the five hundred days, he's worked out his emotions for her, and he moves on to the next girl, and her name is Autumn, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is the joke, you know, summer to autumn, and <laughs> but I mean the whole the whole movie is kind of his journey and his realization <clears throat> of exactly what you know who he wants and the way he deals with the relationship. We were talking about how. This, it's related, I promise. No, no. But at the end of that movie, we both had different views on that. Because my view was, I was like, I was like, but what's going to happen is he's just going to find this new girl and he's going to have the same thing happen with this new person. And he's just going to fall back into his old routines because that tends to happen unless you have somebody there doing, saying to you, look what you're doing. Look what, look at you and look at what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Whereas you My said, interpretation was that Summer was everything he thought he wanted. But it, she wasn't, she, he wasn't what she wanted. So therefore she was close, but she wasn't the right person. So that's why her name was Summer or whatever. But then when he met Autumn, that was in turn the actual right girl. So it was ba- like the lesson to me is basically you might think you know what you want, but you might still not have it that quite yet. That you, you're close but you aren't quite there. Okay. And I mean, every every movie's kind of open to interpretation by different people, but basically what I was saying is, and the way my mind works, just because when I was at Central Michigan University, plug for Central Michigan University. Monster <laughs> <laughs> um, Michigan's better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not, let's have, let's have a... Let's not start, it'll be a different episode. But... <laughs> Everybody's looking forward to that. One. Yeah, 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 good one. Go on. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the the thing is, every movie is open to interpretation in different ways. But um, I majored at Central in computer science and math, and I have a lot of the way my mind works is a lot of logic. And to me, what it was is, if something is not one hundred percent true, then by default it is false. So in my head, I'm like, we can't guarantee that he's going to learn from the things that he did with Summer. And so we, from there, it's like, well, I mean, it's just going to fall back in old habits and nothing's going to work out. Mm-hmm. But in turn, my major was psychology, mm-hmm. so therefore... He... Alani's just smarter than you. <laughs> therefore, I actually know what happened. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> but the whole, and it's, it is really open to different interpretations, but I think with that, that kind of falls in the same thing. At the end of Gilmore Girls, it was interesting how, like, at the end... Spoiler alert. No. No, don't do it. No. No, no, no the end, the end. No, the end of the, with the original oh, series. Luke and like, Lorelai. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. seven. Oh, seventh season. Not the end okay. of the end. No, no, the end of season seven. Luke and Lorelai. Uh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Luke and Lorelai, who were the, uh, the Ross and Rachel of the 2000 era, um, end up together. That was in the 2000s. Yeah. yeah, but they were in the '90s. <laughs> Friends was more based in the '90s, and they yeah, moved into true. it ended in the 2000s. But a majority of the shows in the '90s. Mm-hmm. That is that's true. fair. Luke and Lorelai in the 2000s were the Ross and Rachel of the 1990s. That was that's true. fair. So that's basically. I will give that to you. Bang! At the end of the show, look, Spike Pete did it. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Um, clip. Oh yeah, you clip the audio. Woohoo! At the end, <laughs> so they end up together. And the more I think about that, the more I think about how I'm like, well, of course they would end up together, and they'd be together. Like it's. But so many times throughout the series, they, they were do together and then not together. And so, what would lead me to believe that they would end up and stay together? Like, so, yeah. like, it's and to me though. Well, and it was never answered for me either. Yeah. Like, because they were so on again, off again throughout the entire series, I was like, you can't just show them kissing and then zoom away. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that doesn't answer anything. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I, I love uh, I love that show. I. And that's the thing, too. The reason I guess I could hate why, I mean, and I guess this is true for, like, a lot of guys, but uh, why we don't like chick flicks is because of the drama feature. (laughs) And, yes, there's a lot of drama in Gilmore Girls. Don't get me wrong. There's a ton of it. But it's, I I don't, how do I say it? It's not the same kind of It's not, it's more educational drama, I guess I would say. Like, I I don't even know if I want to use it that term. Like, life lesson drama? Yeah, it's more life lesson. It's also more real, I think. That's the thing, too. Like, the drama is not like... Oh my god, and then a bus came and killed all the people? <laughs> what happened there? Like it's like so unrealistic at those like super crazy dramas like my husband died because he got attacked by a raccoon and then a machete stabbed him in the face. Like 
what? Wow, that was like, a bad day. Yeah, like, that's, like, that'd be a horrible day. That's so <laughs> random. And then you find that in, like, weird shows like that, and it's just like, I, I can't relate to this. And but, but Gilmore Girls especially was, like, a real show. It was just yeah. always real. And then when they and when people broke up, it felt real, like, in a lot of ways. It was, like, because actual conflict. Yeah, yeah, it was and conflict, sort of stuff, and there's yeah. a lot of things that felt, like, this would be something I could see. And Greg has no idea what we're Greg's talking about. Like, uh-huh. I don't know. I, I'm, like... What you're talking about, like, oh, this random things happen in a show. I feel like a lot of the time, writers have a really hard time filling in gaps where people come and go in shows because they're like, oh, I'm going to go do this better thing now that I'm more famous. Yeah. And they're like, ah, uh, we got to come up with something that's really clever yeah. for the or show. There are and then they, and then they, or they the kind actual of just actors are like, mm-hmm. eh. I'm done yeah. and like yeah I feel bad for the writers sometimes I'm like they probably didn't mean to put this plot <laughs> hole in here but yeah, they're right. like uh, just gonna fill yeah, it quick insert massive plot hole here right like yeah I get that <laughs> well like and that's the thing that's I mean that's the whole reason we've all seen How I Met Your Mother right oh yeah well that's the why the last season is the way it is it's broken up one day is broken up over an entire season it's because yeah. Jason Seagal didn't want to yeah well that's why he, the he very had to go last make, he had to go make some Muppets that's what he yeah, did. yeah he did but that's so, also why the heavy very song. last yeah. <laughs> episode is so condensed. Like, they yeah. had an entire season spread out, and then that last episode is super condensed because he was like, I'm done. I'm done. By so, it. like, they actually intended for another season, yeah. but yeah, then that, they couldn't. That's what I'm saying. That was that's hard. a perfect example. That was hard to sit through that last episode. I was just like, I understand everything that's happening, but geez, you're going to But we watched nine seasons this. to meet this lady. It like, is really <laughs> Hey, yeah. we should just call this this episode the spoiler alert. Because, like, <laughs> we didn't, we didn't spoil anything about, about this I know, I'm just saying, saying like, we should put... That's true. Like, we have <laughs> not actually spoiled anything. So, just, the last like, day... <laughs> <laughs> it's truly a Greek tragedy. Everyone dies. <laughs> Everyone in all of these shows, <laughs> everyone's dead. It's like Gilmore Girls, all over again. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Empty like, chairs and empty tables. Is <laughs> <laughs> that like Rory and Luke's, like looking around? <laughs> Miss Patty is just laying on the side of the, on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, my friends, my friends, don't ask me who this coffee here was for. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I will well, say. What, my, speaking of guilty pleasures, now that we're like, way <laughs> off track, coming back to this. Yeah, one of my guilty pleasures. I don't keep up with it like I used to, but one of the things that I love to talk about that people always look at me and go, "Really? <laughs> like that's something you're into?" Is